Greetings, everyone. Of course, you know I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, but welcome back to Kaiser Arik, and which we're playing as the Ottoman Empire. Now, we finished up the last focus that we started at the end of last episode with the Conference of Alexandria. So we got rid of the Egyptian integration effort. We got quite a few comments to go through as well, but Yemen and the Trusho States became our puppet, which doesn't look very good, but we're going to go ahead and do this, and then after this one... I'd like to come down here, but I'll probably eventually lift the state of emergency. While the Egyptian state did not include many industrial centers, it nonetheless boasts an impressive agricultural output. Through a system of landowners and fellas, a small group close to the crown is able to achieve tremendous power. The time has now come for us to take over those monopolies and integrate them within our own state holdings, such as breaking the power of the Egyptian aristocracy. Cool. And we want to get rid of that because 20% is not good. But we are making one to... You know what? Instead of that, what if we were to do something else, such as... That. There we go. So, a couple comments to go through, and look at this. This is the Trucial State. This doesn't look very good, I'll be honest. This really doesn't look good. The, so, the Trucial States are led by Shakbat, or Shakbut bin Sultan al Naya. Nayan. And they have a generic focus tree. Uh, let's see. They have no divisions and less than 100 dudes for manpower. They have this as a core, I think. Yeah. They have this as a core, which we also have as a core. And actually, do we have a core here? We do have that that as a core as well. We still own this, which is nice. It's not a core, unfortunately. Yeah, they own Al Hassa, and we have a claim on it. And Saudi Arabia has that as a core. Why? Why is that given to the neutral states? And look at Yemen. Look at. Uh, why? They're led by Yahya Al Hamid. I mean, they have a unique focus tree. You know what? I don't want to do this. Actually, I kind of do. I'm going to use the state chest tomorrow. I'm just going to give this back to them because they have this as a core territory. Eventually, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. We'll just try to like, give them a lot of supplies so we can annex them later on. But this way, we don't have nearly as much resistance. We lose a factory or two or whatever. And they get their cores back. And maybe we can use them as like puppet manpower. I don't know. Just <sighs> request garrison support. <sighs> sure, why not? Uh, what do they say about that? Mm, okay, well, they gave us a little bit of manpower for now. But at least that looks better than what it was before. I prefer, honestly, annexing all of this just because it just looks better, but we don't have the manpower for it, especially, especially since we lost a lot of stuff. Oh, and the fate of Persia. Oh, yeah, Persia. I forgot about you guys. Well, let's see what happens. After a long fight with the Persians, we've launched a full offensive and forced the Persian army to surrender. Tehran is now in our hands. Military occupation, liberate Persia. I really want to annex them, but we don't have the manpower for this. Wow, that is... Wow. Are the borders supposed to be this ugly? Like... <laughs> oh my goodness. Can I at least give them some territory? No, I can't. Mm -hmm. Wow. Why? Why would we do it like this? Why Why is it like this? I don't understand. Go and put down resistance here. I mean, that would be good. I'm not going to give them the territory, I guess, but... Man, this is ugly. <laughs> And there's Egypt here, which we are still trying to integrate. That's a lot of resistance. And a lot of resistance right there still. There's a lot of resistance. Yeah, I'm going to put you over here then. There's a lot of resistance around here too. I'm glad we made it, guys, but... At what cost? We've got a lot of infantry equipment, though. That's kind of nice. Lots of guns, which is actually really good for us. Gun-wise, we're not making any because we're out of steel. Mmm. Is the Ottoman Empire supposed to live in an eternal, like, period of pain and suffering? Because... Oh my goodness, this is not good. I want to get rid of focus, export focus, and go to limit exports, but like I said, we have a couple comments to go through. First of all, uh, someone did recommend we change the names every episode just to see what they actually sound like or what they actually are. Ankara. I'm, I'm done upgrading this for now, by the way, because we need to save our civilian factories and build. Build a lot. Uh, so, yep. Sam, Damascus, Baghdad, Trucial States, Abu Dhabi. It's also known as what? Abu Zabi? Sana, Sana or Sana'a. Mecca, of course. Jeddah. Aswan, Luxor, which doesn't change, I guess. Asyut, cool. Alexandria, Dana Benghazi, Benghazi. Oh, that's interesting. Adabia, Tripoli, cool. That's, that's still good, still good, still good, cool. Guns not bad, artillery's looking better, armor cars are looking actually a little better too. And we're training our soldiers because they definitely need to train. We've got soldiers all over the place. Okay, there goes Cameroon. As we're trying to do our next focus. Next comment was, I cannot release puppets. Or someone... Okay, so people want me to conquer all the lands. Ooh, that's a lot of resistance down there too. 
Conquer lands and puppet lands, and there's a big divide in the comment sections regarding this stuff. No matter what I do, I'm not going to be able to please everybody. But look at Cypress. Why is Cypress so high? Because we need more political power so we can actually martial law. There we go. I don't like doing that because it costs manpower. I got it. Uh, we got to do this. I want to lower the amount of of material or resources that we don't have so we can get more so with trade policy, but uh, at least that's very low. At least that's good. So let's take a look here. So obviously the islands are very high. So what is this, Lebanon? Haifa? That's still pretty bad right there too. Oh. Why is Ireland in my lands? They have so many areas. You know, I'm going to do this area first, just because it's already kind of getting close to being a core, so we'll do that. We can't do it around here, so I don't understand some of this. I just want to get through it. For this rest of this campaign, I want to at least try to get through the rest of the focus tree. We might go to war with the, Aus the United States of Aust Greater Austria, maybe. Someone recommended in the comments below that we don't go to war with Germany, which... Oh, I don't really feel like going to war with Germany at this point. They're doing really, they're doing exceptionally well, at least in my mind. Look how far we pushed it down, even even though they did get navally invaded in the Netherlands. They're doing great against the Russian Socialist Republic, too. So, what? Brazil? Wait, what? Oh, you're still occupying the Netherlands. Okay, Mike. Brazil? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Oh man, oh man, oh man. But regardless, a couple more things. Someone recommends I play as Yaki in TNO, because there's no other way to play as Yaki. Um, yeah. Whenever TNO has an update and you get a little TNO teaser for like Yaki and maybe it was Harrington maybe and other leaders for TNO2, you get a teaser. Not that much. There's a hundred days worth of content for them. Yeah, I'll, I'll play as Yaki for a hundred for the hundred days content to see what he's like to allude to what will happen in the future. So that'll be pretty cool. Guns looking good. Artillery's we're out of our deficit, thank goodness. We need more support equipment, though. Oof, my goodness. We just need more factories. We just need more steel. We need so much more of everything. But since we got enough political power, let's go ahead and do this as well. Yeah, the Ottomans. Very painful to play, as it feels like. Very painful. Very low. That's good. None. That's awesome. And we're currently get 1.43. It is what it is. When we took this focus... Uh, let's see this one. Uh, Conference of Alexandria. Ooh, no. Maybe it was this one. United wants more. Yeah. No, it was whenever we won the war... We lost the little bonus modifier, like, get more attack and defense against, like, Egypt and Persia and stuff like that, but it is what it is. I, I'm kind of surprised that we don't, well, maybe not too surprised. Oh, yeah, we got it. Oh, it's very high. Still a core, but no resistance. You know what? I'm not going to mess with that. I'm not going to mess with that. Ooh, and we probably, oh, no, that's still a core, so medium is okay for that. Ooh, let's take a look at these guys again. Well, 88% is not good. 88% is still not very good. Is it dropping? It is. The Federal Collapse. Shocking. Well, and there goes the CSA. They've won the war, basically. And New England still exists. USA is gone. Hello, CSA. Let's see. What else? Other comments. Play as Germany next in Kaiserreich. I think I have played as Germany once. I remember playing as the United Baltic Duchy with their old focus tree. Not their latest one, but their old focus tree. And I integrated them into the German Empire. So, that was really cool. I did that once. End of the American Civil War. Oh, boy. That is 42. Happy 42, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. we get some research speed. Let's grab some guns. We are. How about... We already did artillery. We're doing pretty well, then. Let's grab some more engineers, because... No. This one. This one. The field hospitals. Yeah. That'll be good. Nice. That's going to hurt us a little... Oh, my gosh. We need even more steel. Why? Why must you pain me so? Anyways, uh, let's see. Release Arabia, don't release lands, and pop at other people. Or don't pop at other people. Yeah, I'm getting so much conflicting messages. Like I said, I'm not going to be able to uh, do everything everyone wants me to. So, we'll just do whatever seems cool at the time. Let's see, you guys. Ooh, which area is needed the most? Is it still, like, this area? 87%. Jesus Christ. But if we get all of these guys done, eh, we'll focus on the home tiles first, for now. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I didn't realize this. I've been playing Hoi 4 for too long. Did not realize this. But if you bypass focuses, you do not get their benefits. You don't get their bonuses. So I did not realize that. My bad. Um, hey, but I learned stuff occasionally still about this game that I didn't know before. So it is what it is. Cool. But thank you for letting me know. And uh, now that I know, that's good. And also, with armored cars, we have 254. Because I put them, at least one of them, on our garrisons. So, there's an armored car. If I were to do this, 
Would we be out of armored cars? We might be. And it does cost a little bit more fuel, but we'll see. And we're done with our land option. Great! Uh, since we're using engineers, might as well grab, grab, grab that one too. That'd be good. So are we out of armored cars? No, 190. Nice. What if we did that again? Saves maybe just a spot of manpower. Just a spot, not much. So 79.98. 79.98. Probably doesn't save us that much. We're 191. Went down by about 70. Didn't really change too much for us up here. And I don't want to put too many on, just because we're going to be taking more land later on in some other wars. So we've got to be careful with this. And we have only so much army XP, but it doesn't really matter to me too much. Cool. So we did that. Let's go ahead and finally lift the state of emergency. Although the marshal has shown his clear disgust for the weakness of the decentralists, which has led to the crisis of the empire only recently been plummeted in, he still supports the notion of democracy and with the nation stabilizing the economy recovering. He has been in cooperation with various political figures and decided to hand power back to the establishment and lift the state of emergency. Finally, it only took us until 1942 to accomplish this, but better late than never. You guys looking pretty good. We got a good amount of support companies as well. 1.43. Alrighty tidy. Let's see. And then you guys are next. And install some loyal administrators. Other comments as well. Don't go to war with Germany, which we said already. Create a f you, is it possible to create a faction with Azerbaijan and Armenia? So this is a medium now. It should still be going down, which is a good thing. Well, I didn't even get the option for these guys as well, because I forgot about it. So I'm not sure about creating a faction with Armenia. But I was a, Azerbaijan would be cool, but they're already in the Reich's pack. Which is not bad. Oh, the French are coming back, though. Oh, oh, they're getting attacked on a lot of different fronts. Can I send volunteers? It might be worth sending some volunteers. I guess in the light tanks, but now nah, we're good. Horsies. They're 20 combat with. They're not bad, but... Mm, mountaineers might be better to send. I think I want to send the Mountaineers. Do we have another... Yes, we do. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, Special Division. Simil. Ooh, who do I send? I don't like old guards. Yeah, I guess why not. There you go. Recall. Oh, oh, look at that! There's a recall volunteers button. Oh my goodness! Is that a Kaiserx specific thing, or is that like in just the base game now? That is awesome. I love, 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 love. Let's make sure we actually do that too, just so we can have that. Because I don't want to lose any more plans. Because I'm not going to send them anywhere else. But still, you guys, you have all your orders, so I don't have to mess with you too much, which is good. I really shouldn't send these guys over, but I want to help out at least a little bit. Oh my gosh, the Germans are weak. Ooh, how strong are the French? That's a good lot of manpower. You guys still have a million manpower, too. You, of course, you are fighting a two-front war, so... Go figure. The Russians, they don't have nearly as much man... Well, they have enough manpower, just not enough divisions. Now, actually, how close are the Russians to capitulating? Because once they capitulate, it should turn to do very well for the Germans. How's this war? Entente, Third International. Good lord. Oof. The Entente's not doing great either. Australian British War. On oh, it's basically the same. Oh, well. There's the Reich's Pact. They've lost. Oh my goodness. That's uh, embarrassing. Holy crap. Germany, you've done really well, but. Oof. Wowzers. Hmm. Signal companies might not be bad. We tried motorized rocket stuff. Can I throw that on my guys? Or maybe not rocket that stuff. What if we got instead rocket artillery as a support company? Maybe. Hmm. We could try it. Really get more soft attack. So we'll probably just try to help defend against the communists. Or not communists. They're not communists. They're syndicalists and maybe radical socialists and totalists. Anywhere it's in there. Enough artillery guns, stuff like that. That's great. Alright, well, good luck, guys. You're going to need it. Let's see. You guys are probably going to get attacked like crazy. Come on down here. See what you can do. Beef them up. Actually, if that's the case, I will beef these guys up right now, then. I probably should. Okay, Ireland's clear one. Oh, start, but good luck with that. We should have enough divisions to do this. We don't have that many mountaineers, so. Never mind. Should have sent the infantry then. <laughs> Alright, we got about 30 more political power. Let's see, how are you guys doing down here? Alright, now that's good. Less resistance, hopefully more manpower, more factories to use. Keep making more military factories. And we're going to put them in places that are 
probably really good to put him. I still don't mind making some infrastructure as well, so. Alright, Germany, I'm coming to help you out. Maybe I should have sent you your, my divisions to Russia to help you out, but defending is much easier than attacking. But down here, oh, it's a giant bad word mess. Oh, another division. Don't mind what we do, because we need more divisions. Which are right there. That'd be good. Do you have anything for us? And to a degree, I kind of scattered my my armies, as you can see down here. I don't really plan on attacking Ethiopia, but that'd be kind of cool. Actually, that'd be really good as a puppet. Hmm. How long would it take for us to go to war with these guys? Uh, we don't have the political power port really still. Pasha announces the end of the state of emergency. Preferring the role of Cincinnatus, uh, the marshals today announced the end of his short-lived dictatorship, decreeing that all those responsible for the crimes against the former Grand Vizier have received their just fate in laying down all his emergency powers. The intentions of the marshals seems true, and return to democracy is now back in sight. To ensure stability in the transition period and give ample time for election preparations, Ismet Pasha will temporarily retain the position of Grand Vizier, albeit with limited jurisdiction until Parliament reconvenes. A grand day for the sublime state. Ooh, we change our party, and we're led by the same guy. Cool. I'm just hoping we don't get a unique focus tree until we get through all these focuses first. Ooh, the Tigris Valley thing that would be nice. Ooh, that would be pretty good to do as well for more infrastructure, but that's okay. Oh, Turkish Petroleum Factory. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, more oil? That's not bad. I like that too, but I want to get through this stuff quickly so we can get down to here. Santa Rosa, Ottoman military stuff. Yeah, let's get less unrest. After the Valkyrie, prompted by the Arab movement, Mehmed VI lifted some of the restrictions on Arab language and made it the second official language of the empire in Arab-majority territories. Nonetheless, various institutions, such as the military, remain solely Turkish and have caused great consternation from our Arab brethren. The time for full equality has arrived. We could use more stability and war support. Stability of the realm, huh? Alright, so what are we building? More support companies. Senegambia has capitulated. Goodbye, Senegambia. If that's the case, uh, good lord, we need more steel. Uh, I don't want to trade for that much steel, but we kind of need to trade just a little bit for steel. I don't want to trade with those guys. Germany. Let's go with four for now. That'll help out at least a little bit. Ooh, that's good. We can make, maybe make at least a few guns. We don't really need that many more guns. Ooh, light tanks. Unfortunately, I gotta put you guys up top, above those guys. Let's go ahead and grab maybe some more extraction. No, we already maxed out extraction. Holy crud, that is so bad. They, we have no steel. Uh, probably better fighters. We're using them anyway, so we might as well, right? Soldiers, where are you? Oh, you're right there, above. North of Switzerland. Very cool. I'm gonna keep an eye on this. That'll be good. You're almost done. You might as well do that, too. Oof. A lot of brutal fighting down here. Oh, sir's gone. Well, I kind of figured that would probably happen. 1.13, huh? Institutionalized Islam. Alright, so, we'll probably do the islands next, because they're still pretty high in resistance. Egypt is slowly being lowered. Cyprus is actually lowering as well, which is really good right now. So, let's see which one is worse. So, you guys are very high at 81%, and you guys are very high at 81%. Either way, it doesn't matter, I guess. They have... No resources and a building slot, and you have some chromium and a few dockyards. So we'll probably want to do Cyprus first then. Recon? Sure, why not? You guys. I put a recon company on you guys. 42. Earl Browder named president. Oh boy. Nothing but a despot in charge of the of an industrial titan. Wowzers. Well, we can already use that, so. Use recon, so. Let's lower that. That'd be good. And our soldiers have arrived, and we're going to be taking quite a few hits. But. That's good to get some experience, which I'll say. Are you guys attacking or defending? Oh, look like you guys are attacking. Why? Why? I mean, I don't mind you guys attacking here, because you can beat up the Russian bear, but still. Oh, man. Why do you attack all will- Yeah, you just guys are- oh. Hmm. No, they- I mean, they are getting defeated, but... My goodness, Germany. My goodness. I put you under field marshal, maybe? Anyone here? Oh! Oh, he's really good on defense. Oh, yeah. This dude's really good. Alright, next up. Radar? No, let's grab some of this stuff. Defensive breakthrough, yeah. That'd be good. Cavalry, just in case. I'm still gonna do... Oh, that is garrisons. That's not cavalry. This is it. These guys. Yeah, that'd be good. I'm still gonna use them for now, because we don't really... can't. We can't really afford motorized, so... 
That'd be okay for now as well. Military police is not bad. We're not gonna use them though. Not for not for standard divisions. Whew. Keep making more civilian factories so we can trade them away. Aleppo. Infrastructure really isn't that great here. I don't want to build it here because we that'll keep getting damaged. We we'll keep making a lot more military factories. That is nice. Not bad. Yeah, we need more factories down here. Yeah, Lowers by ten. Would that help us? That does help us out with Tungsten, actually. That's not too bad. That's better then. We can't make any ships though. Hmm. Oh, you guys are still doing stuff down there. Okay, then go home. If you need to, you guys can train too, since we don't we don't use any a lot of fuel, and you might as well get more naval XP, right? My goodness, guys. Oh, are they attacking or defending? I can't even tell sometimes. There you go. Just in case. It's fine with me. And we can lower Cyprus again. And boom. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. Just in case. Man, the second Bell Creek is a mess. <laughs> We've only 14% party popularity. Wow. The military government is probably who we really want, but you know, that's just me. Finland's not looking bad. It's looking better, I think. Oh my goodness, this front is looking god awful. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Oh, the Russians might be making a comeback too. Oh, what happened to the German soldiers? Where are they? Are they all in the this on the Western Front? Hmm. I don't want to abandon these guys, but we might need to help out over here. Oh yeah, the Russians are slowly probably pushing back in. That is not ideal. How are we doing with this? Not bad. Still pretty good. Go and build that one up first, just because it's closer to finishing. And we have 20 days left for that. Man, that's, that, that's probably the big thing about Kaiserreck. I don't like it. It's just a little laggy. That's all. Just a little bit. Uyghurs. I think that's how you pronounce it. For the tank division we just saw. Are these guys attacking or defending or what's going on? They're still attacking. But they gave up these guys. No, these guys are separate. That's a very similar color to the Union of Britain, but... I think they definitely need help on the front here. And since the French front is not moving very much, we'll move out here too. Help them out. Why not? Well, at least we're making more stuff. That's good. That's actually really good. Ooh. We'll do that. Doing this will remove Varlik Vergisi, which that national spirit actually gives us minus 5% consumer goods, which is pretty good, and I don't want to get rid of that. The election of 42, though. And given only short, short two months to organize, much of the electoral campaign has occurred within a certain dose, with certain dose of chaos and mismanagement, especially in the periphery. Nonetheless, Constantia has not reported any large-scale disruptions in turnout, especially in the era of Villiers, and has been noted as higher than usual, further aided by a closing off of the ranks within the Liberal Entente. The Liberal Entente takes power. The H I F. Wait, they? How did they win? Social Liberals won. Freedom and Accord Party. Uh, don't you have... I guess that's a military government. That's what... Oh, balance budget. Wait, what? What the heck? Okay, so it changed my focus tree. So we bypass this. Oh, and this is the... The... Stuff from Black Monday, then. Yeah. The stuff, too. So we didn't get anything... Uh, stability and war support's not great, not bad. Social liberals. Well, okay... Renovate the Sublime Port. More than 124 deputies? Oh no. I have to pay attention to deputies now? Oh boy. Oh boy. So, we can keep doing this stuff. Dreadnoughts, Naval Doctrine, Forts. Those are okay. What is this one? Loosening Economic Restrictions, which grants... Loosening Economic Restrictions? Fuel gain per oil. Military factory construction speed goes down by 20%. Civilian construction speed goes up by 20%. More research speed? What is this one? Free trade? No. Oh, no. I, we can't do that one. We cannot do that. That'd be so bad for us. We don't have enough resources as is already. Loosening economic restrictions. I well, get more fuel gain per oil. Spend the sugar industry. Why? Monthly population is not bad. But... Enable foreign investment, which is not bad. 
Mesopotamian oil? Berlin Baghdad exploitation rights. Man, oh man, why would we want this? I guess we can do this one. There's nothing we can do on the left yet, so. The Imperial Institute for Technology, although the Ottoman Empire boasts a fair selection of institutes for higher learning, there is a severe lack of technical expertise in the realm, which has severely complicated the industrialization of the empire. To solve this, the government has proposed to open the Imperial Institute for Technology in Constantia, in close cooperation with academics from Austria and Germany. Why? You know what? Actually, that's not bad. You know what? If we go to free trade, if we get enough political power, then we go to limit exports. Oh, boy. Oh! Oh, no. Talks with the DF? What is that DF? Ugh, Argentina's doing a third international, that's not good. Appoint Arab Walis? Social liberalism. Turkish, no. Uh, the playing in the Ottomans of Kaiserich is just nothing but pain. Why? Oh, I should have not done democracy stuff. Should not have done it. Authoritarian doc democracy, national populism. Fund the Anatolian Agricultural Relief Program. Denmark has capitulated. Oh my goodness. So, alright, at this point, what is this? Loosen tax burdens? Four guys join us. We lose time political power, unrest will decrease. The other one says increase tax burden. We actually see a little bit more political power. Well, let's do this one. Recruitable. Why does recruitable population go down? I mean, it's much cheaper than before, but... Oh, we can't even do anything here. What the heck? What the heck? Was it? Revert OHF social reforms. And then fund the Ministry of Religious Affairs. Coalition talks. Hold early elections. I kind of don't mind that. We, got, we don't have enough health support, though. Conservatives, Independents, Arab Nationalists, Turkish Nationalists. Hmm, hmm. Well, we already don't have enough support in the House anyway, so whatever. That doesn't mean too much to me. Why? Medium. Oh, wait. What do we need to do here? Has not listed Texas twice already. Oh, what? Wait, so we can't get them under us then? Uh, maybe eventually. Maybe just give, give some time. Maybe just give some time. Maybe they'll be okay. Very low. Anything else anywhere else? Can't do anything about that. Oh yeah, how about uh, Serenica and stuff like this? Serenica. We did it twice. That's probably not gonna do enough. Of that. Anything here? No. Benghazi. Well, we can hopefully lower them as well. We can only get 1.1 political power every day. Our soldiers are probably still trucking on over to Russia. Unless they're already over there. Oh, they're already over here. Nice. Well, guys, hope you're enjoying the weather. It is August, so don't get too comfortable with it. Did we actually win? Yeah, we did. Nice. Cool. We're going to help out. Ooh, Institute for Technology is done. That's good, I guess. Let's see. A liberalized the national economy. Yeah, nope. Nope. Oh, this is going to hurt military factory speed, but whatever, we get more civilian factory speed. Enacted by the Kamal's government to protect the nascent Turkish industry, the National Protection Law puts severe limits on Turkish imports, banning all imports for goods such as processed food, alcohol, shoes, leather goods, and other consumer goods. Furthermore, the imports of even such materials as cement received restriction, which according to the DF, greatly stifled the private sector. Wow. Coalition talks? I'm mean, I guess we try that. Why not? Hmm... There we go. That's better. We lost some manpower, though, it looks like. Ooh, let's keep building ourselves up even more. There we go. Even more civilian factories. More, 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 more. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's not good. You guys are getting whacked pretty darn hard, I'd say. I guess we're seeing action over here, though. That's kind of nice. Can we lower taxes anywhere else, please? Maybe yes, no. Maybe yes, so... Uh, Egypt, I don't think we can do anything here in Egypt, so, no. I don't really think we can lower taxes yet again here, y yet. It's probably gotta wait like a year or something, probably. I could lower it even more if we really wanted to. 
Actually, can we increase the centralization? Oh, we can increase central. Man, I really should have done the military, dicta military dictatorship path. Wow. Well, whenever I play as the Ottoman Empire again in Kaiserreich, hopefully I'll remember to not do some things. Because doing this sometimes isn't very good. Because doing stuff can get you in trouble. Very low. Well. Fund the military. Coalition talks with the DF. Although the centralists have been unable to gain the necessary support to form a workable coalition, we on our own do not either. The DF of Kazim Karabakir forms the keenest debacle as it triumphs as the ballot has grown the party substantially to the point that they can now crown themselves kingmaker. Kazim is very well of this position and has been playing hardball with our party in an attempt to secure the position of Grand Vizier for himself. With the mind of the Sultan set on our own Sabahetin, however, he is now willing to negotiate a coalition. The process is high, however, as we do not as not only the ministries of war and finances would be given to his party, but also the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which would ensure a strong influence of his party on nearly all shapes of policy. What choice do we have? We didn't need we didn't need party popularity. Conservative support is brittle at best, and the fraction becomes malcontent. They may collapse the government and seize power for themselves. Go right ahead, man. Go right ahead. Fun. The relief program. Ooh. We get more... Uh, I, don't really, I don't really care about that. <laughs> uh, let's go next. That'd be good. Go and do that, too. Still making plenty of artillery because we got to convert some artillery over to this. No, we already have that done. You guys... Oh, that's rocket artillery right there. Can we put rocket artillery over here? Yes, we can. That would be good. And, and it's not as good as normal artillery right now, but it'll eventually get good enough. Good, 42. We got that. We could do some stuff down here, but we don't really need to. Support companies looking not too bad either. Armor. Let's get Tartar since we're already using, still using light tanks, I think, so... Uh, that'll be alright. Might as well. Two, that's not bad. Alright, so where's my divisions? So you guys. You all are pretty good. And you two can be still can be converted to this. Yes. That'd be good. Train if you need to. You all, with the exception of you, should all be this. That'd be good. We need more equipment, of course, but what else is new? You all should be this already. Well, whatever. It'll be fine. And, well, the cavalry is the cavalry. You guys are getting attacked over here? What's going on? Anything like that? Like that? Yeah, you definitely can help out there. That's fine. Don't really care. Alright, so we should not have you anymore. But we do somewhere. Not sure where we have you. There goes the Prince of Federation. This is a very weird world. Garrisons, of course. That's best. Oh. There we go. There we go, that's much better. Alright, enable foreign investments. Okay, sure, why not? Although foreign investment was never blocked by the Kamal's government, those who pursued a policy of cooperation between the private and public sector, funded largely by foreign credit, did they make it harder for Ottoman enterprises themselves to solicit foreign funding without going through a state institution. That this has stifled growth is universally agreed on by the liberals and will no longer do. Support Arab Wallies? Well... They didn't need stability or more social liberal support anyways. If we're at zero, you might as well do it, right? Cool, we got that one done as well, which is actually pretty good. Land auction is done, of course. That stuff is okay, we're doing that too. We might get some medium tanks, maybe eventually. We'll see what happens. Maintenance, don't really need... Eh, we could use maintenance companies, actually. Signal companies are not bad either. Why not? Maybe we'll use them. Actually, maybe we won't. Hold on, maybe we won't. Let me see. It's cause I can put these guys on here, right? And we want to use those guys, so let's not use signal companies. We can research them later on, but not now. Ooh, let's do this one. Yeah, ground support. There we go. That's better. It's a little better. How's construction going? Not bad. Really not bad at all. I'm very surprised that Austrians aren't doing anything else. Like, usually they go to war with Germany to fight off the Reds, but hey, we'll see, I guess. Can you guys actually win here? You might be able to, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Maybe no. Maybe so. Actually, 223 house support. Prorogue Parliament, huh? All right. Let's 
Still can't do that. We got some of this. That's not bad. It's October. Get some more radar, maybe. We'll see what happens. We need, now need more artillery, which is fine. Gun-wise, how are we doing? We're doing okay on guns. An extra thing here means we go over there. That'll be good. Get some more of this as well. Get a spot more steel. That'll be better. Still can't make any ships, but whatever. Alrighty, not bad. Not great, but not bad. And we celebrate Eid. Very good. Bunch of craziness. Repeal the Unification Decree? Oh man, democracy was such a mistake. But I'm not gonna go back now. How many more days do we have this stuff? 24. Cool. Let's read about another one. Mesopotamian oil extraction. The foreign capital incentives law. Wow, that does not look good. I like that one. That's not bad. I like infrastructure and another civilian factory. Ooh, motorization. Opa Telthon. Mechanized equipment manufacturer. Let's go with Mesopotamian oil exploration. Although most operations of the Turkish Petroleum Company and its Dutch German allies are centered around Kirkuk and Mosul in the north of Iraq, large untapped reserves have recently been discovered in the south of Iraq, near the imported harbors of Basra and Kuwait. Since these are also readily tight in or tightly connected, tightly connected to the Iraqi rail network. TPC has requested a concession from the port to expand operations throughout Iraq. Hmm. Hmm. We need more military factories constantly. None. Low. There goes Liberia. You guys are now low as well, which is good. No, how about you guys? You guys were pretty persnickety about rising up against me. Uh, can we do anything here yet? No. We cannot, which is stupid, but whatever. Um, we could do that too here. More deputies. Now it's very low. That's fine, whatever. And then, yeah. Next one we're going to do, after this focus, we'll, we'll liberalize the national economy. And then basically, <laughs> spend political power to get back to export focus. Why? Why? Oh, order restored in Persia. Well, Persia still labors under Ottoman control. The Persian military has asserted enough control over its own borders that a semblance of autonomy is now possible. This is not independence, far from it, but it does mean that they no longer have to rely on Ottoman troops to secure the borders, and we are thus not so tightly, not so tightly under our control. They are not. So that's fine, whatever. Grab some artillery rocket upgrades, that'd be good. How are we looking here? Not great, but if you could attack here, that'd be good. Why are we lacking uh, it's artillery, probably? Oh, you can't even, oh my, you can't even win? Oh, man. Oh, they're really beefed out. They got a lot of support companies. I don't think Germany's going to win here. I think it's going to be a very red world. Revert systems, huh? Blue stability. Fund this. Why not? I want to see how much how support we can get. That's still not bad, though. That's really actually not too bad at all. Cool. Well, actually, with you guys, can we get any more, um... Actually, hold on. Get rid of that. There we go. Pars, yeah? Plenty of manpower. They have 11 divisions. Why do they have to make militia divisions? Militia divisions usually aren't worth it. Oh, Germany. Good. And we grab this, because we can. Because why not? Make some slightly better tanks. Now I want to send my guys back, because they're getting attacked probably on a whole slew of fronts. Oh, there goes those guys. Yeah, at this point, I'm not sending back this way. It's probably more important to keep you guys over here on the Russian front. Yeah, Germany's probably going to fall. Alright, so we got five days left for that, which is not bad. Let's go and do liberalize the national economy, because we can. The national economy model, as followed by the OHF, has damaged our economy beyond repair. And instead of the promise, exponential economic growth has only served to destroy the prosperity of the non-Muslim subjects for the benefit of the ruling class. No more! We will tear down this racist system and, in its stead, build a new and prosperous Ottoman economy. Change popularity of authoritarian democracy, so be it. Free trade. Oh god, no. <laughs> Looking better, looking pretty good on this stuff though. Even armored cars, victory of the Baratia commune. Baratia commune. Cool. Good job, guys, I guess. Save our political power up. Hey, we got enough house support for whatever we needed. OHF. 
Oh, Recon 3 is pretty good. It's almost 43. Go and grab some more output for now. Disperse Industry, thank you. War Propaganda would be cool and all, but I don't really need that. Yeah, we could change this to limit exports. Of but we're going to go. To, we're going to be forced to go to free trade anyway, so it's not even worth doing. We could raise the conscription level, though. That would not be bad, because we are lacking quite a few guys. Good luck. Really, good luck. We should play Germany again sometime. Mm hmm. Oh, watch out. Two best Africa's doing stuff now. Better watch out. Renovation and restoration program, huh? Does that affect political power? Well, we'll give about one a day. Maybe it did. Revert reforms. Fund the Anatolian Agricultural Relief Program. Ooh, we lose four civilian factories. We get 30 de more deputies. Alright, so be a chamber of deputies. Oh, oh, why are you attacking them? Oh my goodness, that is nuts. Oh, you can. Oh, they can attack there too. That's that's not great, but. Eh, oh, it goes Germany, East Asia. Watch out, guys. Germany's age is gone. Forevermore. We can do that. Let's grab some radar since it's still technically at 42. Barely. Barely, though. This is so sad. We could. We should not have selected democracy like earlier. We should have finished all the other focuses first. I didn't realize that we'd actually switch focus trees. Like, it should tell you in the description that, oh, this will change a good chunk of your focus tree. I don't know. It's my fault. I guess I wasn't thinking about it. This has been such an... Oh, we still have this, though. Oh, we actually... Did we get more stability from that? We got less political power now. But whatever. It is what it is. We got five days left for that. And then we have nothing else. After this one, we shall take... Import agricultural stuff. Yeah, more max factories in the state wouldn't be bad. Actually, what about down here, though? Consumer goods factories for 150 days. Well, we'll do that one. So, aimed at promoting private initiative and providing loans to industrial entrepreneurs. The Turkish Industrial Development Bank is a government initiative that has been set up after long and difficult negotiations with the ruling coalition. While its primary function for now is to mediate between European exporters and Ottoman importers, it's, it plans to later on establish industries of its own. Alright, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Free trade? Nope. We can't deal with that. No free trade. Because I don't think they understand how bad the deficit of resources are. Anything else here? Refer to the forms. State interactions will increase their... Oh, they really don't like us. Which I totally get why. Totally get why. Yeah. Low echelon support. Let's grab this next one. It is 43, but we're going to grab it anyways. Because now we got this one. Nice. And since it's 43, let's grab some of this. Oh, they were at war. Japan and Germany were? Huh. I didn't realize that. So what do we do with this? Oh, wait. The house support. Like, what do we... Is... I mean, yeah, we need it for some of the focuses. I know that, but... Is there anything else we can do with that, maybe? Konya, that's good. Build in places that... Could use this a little bit more, maybe. Baghdad would be good to build in. Would be very good to build in. Very low. Can we actually do this now? Hmm. Why? The military. Why? Why? I just, I, I just don't know, man. Hi. And we can't do anything about this either. Like, why? Why is it like this? Why do we have no way to put down like resistance and integrate them more? We're social liberals. Why can't we integrate them more? And it's still... God. Well, at least we can do this one. I forgot about this one, so that's good. At least at least we can do that one. That's nice. But for some of these, we can't do anything about them. There we go. That's better. But, hmm. I'm just looking for areas of resistance. Let's see. Yeah, we looked over here before, and there's still nothing we can do. Just loosen tax burdens. That's all you can give people. That really does suck. Infinite. Infinite resistance. How are we doing over here? Did we come over here yet? No. Our guys are still probably struggling to move over there. Yeah, they, they, they're still moving. They're still moving. They're kind of slow, but they, they're still moving. 
Cool, more tanks. That's cool and all, but let's grab some more cap and growth. Streamline lines is usually pretty good to do. Revert reforms. Foreign investments. Ooh, now we only have three, huh? But we got four days left for the focus, which is not bad. All right, after that, private ownership. We, who needed stability, right? Who needed stability? Anatolian road program? Let's do that one. As the primary focus of the Ottoman economy for most of its history has been on Rumelia, Asia Minor, Syria. The interior of Anatolia is severely lacking the infrastructure expected of a modern nation. Farmers more often than not disconnected from their villages or cities, causing massive issues for supply chains and inhibiting the potential of integrating these people in the world economy. All right, so we got, we're got we doing that one, which is nice. So, oh, wait, we can do this one too. My bad, we can do that one. Every Islamic country, huh? Intervention in the Middle East. Oh, we actually raise up our conscription lots. That's nice. Secure the Persian Gulf. Gain a war goal against Muscat, so at least we can do that. Restore the Villa Yet of Nijad. Incorporate coastal Emirates. Incorporate Muscat and Oman. Support Maghrebi rebels. Reinvigorate the MO reintegrate the MOJ. Um Reorganize the realm. But we can't do this. So it's always false. Well, okay, there's statutes of autonomy. Wow, that really sucks. Minus 0.5 political power a day. Why would you ever do that? Integrate the Arab Emirate of Arabistan. Reorganize the Egyptian vilayets. Settle the Sudanese affair. We already did that. Yeah, this focus tree is. It, it needs to be maybe relooked at. I don't know. Maybe not. It just this, this seems a bit crazy. Research advances, modify the statutes of autonomy, so you still lose political power. Do you? Increase the amount of deputies to 1,500, accounting for our recent conquests. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. Kaiser Ottoman Empire seems kind of a mess. It seems like just a mess. Jabal Shamar, Muscat. Like, I understand that we, we can't integrate people, but allies, that's good to invite... Well, Istanbul Pact, I guess we can do that one. That wouldn't be too bad, but... Found the Association of Muslim Nations. For each additional nation that joins the association, this modifier will increase by 0 0.01 political power and 1% more out factory output. Well, okay. I mean... Alright, why not? Sure. Revise the Constitution. So doing this stuff is kind of bonkers. It's, it's okay, it's not great. So how many more days do we have on this one? We got oh, four 70 day focus. Why do we have a 70? Oh my goodness. Oh, the, the economy. Yeah, I, I'm gonna save a political power. We ooh, we can't go to war economy. I'm probably just gonna lower to export, limited exports. So that'd probably be good for us to do. How are we doing? Oh, we're not even over here yet, are we? No, we're not. Oh, everything's quiet on the front, this part of the front. Which is fine, whatever, whatever. One political power a day. Hey, we have enough support equipment now. That's good. We need more light tanks, though, and motorized, but what else is new? Germany. As soon as I show up, the Germans start attacking again. I, why? For what purpose? I mean, don't be like me and just kill off your own manpower for quite a bit. That's not very smart. Hmm. Agricultural Relief Program. Why not? We get a lot more support anyways from that. So, yeah. I mean, if we do privatize land ownership, that gives us less stability. 50 deputies from the conservatives join the opposition. Why would we want to do that? Like, that hurts us. Populist economy? Hmm. And we still have 32 days left. The next thing we can do is probably disperse industry. As our soldiers are on the line, but as soon as we show up, the French stop attacking. What the heck? And the Germans start re-attacking. Germany. Germany, please. Please, Germany. Yeah, the Ottoman Empire. I don't know, man. I mean, I like the factory and civilian civilian factory and infrastructure re bonuses, but research advances aren't bad. But loosening economic restrictions, it's okay. It's not great. We done it in about a month. 
but at least we can go down to limited exports. How much steel are we actually extracting? 33. That's all we get. We're importing more steel than we actually make. Alright, so now we're down to... 4 minus. We have 102. Now we're... Wow. This is really not bueno. Anatolian Roads program. Well, we'll do this one, and then we might call it an episode. I don't know. At this point, I might just have one more episode in this campaign, just because this is... This is being a bit too much. It's a bit too crazy. We'll see what happens, though. We'll see what happens. Maybe just one more episode in this campaign. Because... I don't know. It seems very messy. The Ottoman Empire seems very, 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 very messy. And are you guys getting attacked? Yes, you are. So, we'd like to see some action. Germany. St stupid AI. Please stop attacking. Please stop attacking. Alright, so that's good. It's... Three infantry stuff. Yeah, let's grab some land and attack. That'd be probably pretty good. And just one more focus. I mean, they, they didn't Cayenne or Kane. Wow. The Germans are getting crushed on two sides. We can't even support them, can we? Nope. Oh, can we? No. We're more focused on ourselves with this fact with this stuff, but, huh, there's nothing we can do, the old focus tree allowed us to abolish full neutrality and help out the Reich's Pact, I mean, I guess it's right here too, join the Reich's Pact, or join the Entente, but that's it, Wh what, you just join, you can't help anyone out, like, you can know, focus is to help, like, Oh, we'll build up some naval ports to get some better supply so that we can do other stuff and help people bring in soldiers and equipment like that. Like, what? Like, I get it. Like, the Ottoman Empire needs to be, you know, fo more focused on itself. But we shall end with renovate the sublime port. Although it uses a nickname for the central government of the Ottoman Empire, the sublime port, or Babi Ali, also refers to the entrance of the ministries across Top Kapi. Sadly, many of these buildings were badly harmed in the fire of 1911, and it's not sure with the relocation of many of its foreign inhabitants to the Dolmabake, or Dolmabash. With restorations completed, the foreign mystery can finally return. But that's where we're going to end today's episode, guys. So if you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and tomorrow will probably be the last episode of the Ottoman Empire. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.